Hey guys, what is going on? It's Gibmeister XV1 and WrestleMania. What a show. It wasn't one of the best WrestleManias I've seen. As I said, WrestleMania 17 is my all time favourite. And six with Hogan and Warrior. But what a start to WrestleMania. You have the legend Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and The Rock in the same ring for about 10 15 minute segment at the beginning, which was brill. Uh, it give you that feeling that, you know, this is going to be a good WrestleMania. Um, yeah, I was impressed with um, Daniel Bryan Triple H match as well. Good, solid match. Um, I knew Bryan would win this one and go on towards the main event, which I'm going to cover in a moment. Um, yeah, it was good all round. I enjoyed it. Undertaker on Brock. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Right. I can understand why it happened. I know Taker's at the end now, he's finished. You know, he's so beat up over the years. He's been an absolute legend in the business. But for Brock to beat the streak, maybe WWE didn't have an option and Undertaker just said, look, this is my last year. Here's my theory on it. I think Daniel Bryan was supposed to break the streak. Last year, or beginning of January, they all sat down. It, this is only my opinion. Daniel Bryan was supposed to be facing The Undertaker at WrestleMania to break the streak. Now, obviously, Batista comes back, wins the Rumble, CM Punk gets pissed off. A whole lot of change. A whole lot of change there. Right, so uh, CM Punk was supposed to be feuding with Triple H after the Royal Rumble. We all know that, uh, but CM Punk actually left, and uh, you know he's taking a sabbatical now, as as what they say. He's still under contract to the WWE, but I think that runs out in July. So here was my reasoning for this: Triple H had to have a story with with Daniel Bryan then. So obviously the Daniel Bryan Triple H feud, which all which built up to last night's WrestleMania, which left only one guy. And that was Brock Lesnar. Now, Brock and Undertaker do have a bit of history. You know, Undertaker um, was really pissed at Brock the first time he left the, the WWE. Just, you know, from what he'd learned in the business and just to drop it and say he wants to pursue a, a career in the NFL with the Minnesota Vikings. <coughs> so they had some beef and then. And when Brock was in UFC, you've all seen the video, Undertaker's a massive UFC man. He went to watch Brock's fight. And the stare down at the end uh, between Brock and Taker which was uh, live, which you could see. The video was on YouTube somewhere. Um, yeah, so that's how I think. I think I think The Undertaker, you know, he's got too much respect for the business. He didn't want to leave. Um, he didn't want to retire with it, with him being undefeated. He's got too much respect for the business. Um, so I think he wanted, you know, I think he wanted someone to break it. And at the time, Brock Lesnar was the only available person. You had Bray Wyatt, who was feuding with Cena, Um Obviously, CM Punk left. Uh, Shawn Michaels retired. You know, Triple H, he's not in a non-wrestling role now, so he's he's got other things to tend to. So the only solution was was Brock Lesnar, and that's how I think um, it happened. Everyone, there was a big rumor thing on Twitter saying that he wasn't supposed to lose and Undertaker botched the finish, and Lesnar's going to be fired. And no, it's not. Lesnar will be on Raw tonight. Uh, I don't think the Undertaker will be on Raw. He might be. Uh, but I believe he was hospitalised with his neck, that move, what he took from Lesnar, where Lesnar swept his leg from underneath him and he landed hard on his shoulders. Um, you know, he, he had quite a bump on the um, on the floor. So that's what I think. I don't think there's no conspiracy theory. I think, it. you know, the WWE and The Undertaker agreed that Brock would break the streak and uh, I don't think we'll see The Undertaker anytime soon. Um, maybe next year's Hall of Fame, yeah. Uh, but this, all this thing with Sting, I can't see him WrestleMania 31 with Sting. You never know, though. Funny things have happened in in the WWE. Uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. So I hope you all enjoyed it, WrestleMania. It, as I say, I'd give it a seven out of ten. The show, impressed with Cesaro as well, winning that um, Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Uh, the guy's just um, a raw talent as well. He's he's really good. He's strong. He's athletic. 
So, yeah, so a good all-round show anyway. So I'm, I'm going to leave you with that, guys. That's just my thoughts. So thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.